Hi everybody, it's Jill Howell and I am here today to show you how to get a nice, big, bold, beautiful eyebrow. So you can see I really don't have a lot to work with myself, so I know what it's like when you really have to spend time penciling them in and filling them in. So I use Unique's Mineral Eyeshadows, yes I said eyeshadows, but these pigments are very versatile, and I use Risqué and Infatuated, and I just kind of mix them like Pretty much equal parts half and half for me um, creates my perfect shade and so I just have like a separate container that I just keep it pre-mixed so I don't have to do it every single day and then just refill it when I need to so I'm going to use our liner brush it's an angled brush and it's small and it's perfect for this so I'm just going to grab a little bit of pigment and I'm going to start with just this under first half of my eyebrow and just drawing the edge, I'm just like outlining it. And then you would go and do the other eye, but I'm not gonna do that for the video. And then you do the under edge of the side. And if you have straight eyebrows, it probably be more more like one one section for you. Now we're gonna outline the top edge. You can see it's not filled in, but I've outlined it. It's like already a huge difference. And then I'm gonna outline the top edge, which for me is fairly similar <laughs> since mine are so thin. Okay, we're almost done. It's really super simple with these pigments. They just, they glide on so soft. And I'm just gonna fill that in since it's sadly sparse. And then for this front part, I just kind of like, I don't even know what you, I guess like feather, feather it. I don't outline it anyway, just feather it in. Okay, I mean, how simple was that? And like, huge difference, huge difference. So, and then I like to set mine with some kind of brow gel shaper. Unique doesn't have anything like this yet, I'm sure. Hopefully in the future, someday we will. But um, this one's just called Shape It European Wax Center. I don't know. So it kind of looks like clear mascara, but this is softer. And I'm just gonna brush a little bit on. And then I just kind of pat it and then it sets it and just kind of makes it stay in place better than if I hadn't done that. Um, let me do the other brow so I can be even, okay? Okay, I have done both eyebrows and the reason why you do one step and then the other is so that they turn out even. So they might be a little bit off today, but um, whatever. So that's why you do one side and the other because they're going to turn out the most even if you do it like that but um <clears throat> i just wanted to show you what i do because i get comments all the time on oh i wish i had your eyebrows they're so beautiful um but really anybody could have them because you saw what i was working with beginning and it wasn't much so there you have it i want to see um pictures of all your new beautiful brows bye